Hey, it's Steve Barcello from the Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Down at Medoc Mountain, uh, we've had torrential rain. Uh, and down by the bridge here, I just want to show you. Look at that. I imagine most of these trails are pretty much shut. I'm going to go down here, hike down this one trail here and see what we can find. Somebody else pulling in now. If it's anyone I know. What's up, man? Just saying, if someone else is pulling in. It's wondering if it's anyone I know shooting a little thing. You look at this water. Hey, I was, yeah, I was coming down to see how high it was. And it's was, crazy yeah. here. Look at this. I'm going to take a walk out and spray myself some bug spray. I got a guy coming in today. Actually, the guy did the hike with us. Yeah. Someone's coming back to the museum today. He actually found some prints here with his wife, and he uh, didn't cast them, unfortunately. But he's got photos he's going to bring in, so I'm going to interview him later at the museum. Uh, when was that? About a week ago. Okay. So, well, uh, what, what part? Is, what I'm not really it? sure. He's going to okay. come. He talked to me yesterday. He wasn't really sure. I think it's on Summit, somewhere up in this area. Okay. He pretty much stays to the water. But the gentleman will hike to us. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to do a quick hike in. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go up to the pavilion, actually, and go down um, and see how high the water is up around okay. the... Okay. Uh, Take uh, some pictures. Send them to us. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to post this, let folks know. I thought Sounds it might be someone I know. I'll see you around. <laughs> All right, catch you later. All right, we're going to hike in here. I'm going to see what the uh, level is. You can see the water's never this high. Quite a few cars here. I am surprised. I mean, that's crazy. Usually that water at that level there, you can see it's come all the way into trees, into the woods. Usually that would be any more than... It's probably like a six foot, four and a half at the worst drop. So I'm really curious when we get back down here towards the uh, big iron bridge. And this is the area where just Discovery Loop, uh, Summit Loop, basically all kind of meet. Don't mind me, I'm watching my footing here. It's muddy here. I see vehicle marks. I guess the uh, rangers have been through to check on things. I'm guessing there might be some signage up here saying trail shut. And uh, but plus, uh, it's warm today. It hasn't been. It's even, not cold, but rainy and miserable. So I'm sure it's snaky today. So I want to be very alert to what's going on here. Not a good day to get bit, bit by a snake. But here I'll show you. You can see how muddy this all is here. I haven't been down here in a while. Now, we have been doing some of the paranormal research. Riverside Mill and places like that. And we're still going through the evidence. Uh, for every recorder we left out, pretty much overnight, we have like 11 and a half hours of audio we have to go through. And you have to do that in real time. Watch it. I'm going through a real muddy area. If I suddenly disappear, means I've slipped and fall. But, uh... Uh, visually, we had a, a little DVR system set up on that one, and uh, that was set up for motion. And we got nothing, unfortunately. Just uh, us setting up things, moving around, that sort of stuff. Some silly stuff. But uh, audio, a little bit we've gone through so far, up in the old mill building, we've gotten some pretty cool stuff there. Like 3 o'clock in the morning, you're hearing shuffling. Uh, definitely movement up there. Uh, things that sound very close to the microphone. And you can hear the building bus close it up, lock it, the door slam. It's a big metal door downstairs. And you never hear the door open back up. So we know nobody's in the building at that point. But uh, back to Bigfooting. Now, obviously, you guys know this pile of stone, which is one of the places we got a whole bunch of prints, that couple from South Carolina. I myself up a bug spray because I figured with all this moisture here to be a million bugs so far the biting flies aren't eating my bald head so that's a good thing and this is muddy and I'm wearing sneakers lots of flies here and spider webs 
Okay, I'm just coming up to the first trail. Now, the, what I'm on here is actually a service road. It's a road that the uh, rangers use which is right along the stream. So it's not really marked on any of the maps here as an access point, but like tons of people use it because it's just an easy way to get right up on these trails. Wow, look how flooded this is back here. And if you can see it, but the water's all the way right up to here. I mean, at this point here, it's within maybe 25 feet of the trail. And it should be all the way back. The embankment's back there. This is going to be interesting. Now, John, Johnny Tucker, who we just saw, uh, he's one of the guys that, wow, it's right here. Uh, puts the recorders out all the time here. He's had very good luck. Look at this. It's right up to this trail here. And this is actually part of Discovery Loop that crosses this. And you actually go down by the water. I might take that from the other side up because it loops back around. I just want to head down to the bridge. And I'm curious what the bridge looks like. Now, at times here, because it's floods so much, you can actually get the bridge totally submerged underwater. I don't know if it's going to be like that now. I'm sure yesterday, I'm sure this has come down quite a bit from yesterday. But I think we have more rain coming. I think this is just a lull. I'll show you, I just mean, we're going uphill here. And it's still muddy. Now the peak is back up that way. And that peak for this mountain here, so-called mountain, is actually not as high as where the museum is. The town of Littleton is 387 feet above sea level, so we're actually higher than this area is here, which is good, because after me coming from Long Island, dealing, dealing with Hurricane Sandy, I'm done with flooding. Okay, we're coming up to the berm here. I'm curious, I can hear water running already. And there's really no waterfall over here, so I have to assume that's probably the bridge it's going over. I'll let you see my muddy footprints. You can see the water came all the way out to here. This is from the stream. So I want to be careful for snakes, water moccasins. I have no snake boots on. And of course, I'm looking for prints. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this water up here. Holy jeez. And the bridge is all the way back there. So the bridge isn't covered, but you can't get to it. Can you see the bridge back there? That's amazing. Now it has been worse. We've come here where they've had this stuff in the trees would have been easily I guess another six feet from what this flood is here. And this is what I came down to check out. I was curious. So that's, that's what we got here. Uh, needless to say, don't worry about the trails for now until this recedes. I think we do have some more rain coming. I don't think it's going to be quite as intense, but... Uh, Big footing is going to be a little difficult to do, but once this recedes, it's going to be ideal. There's going to be so much mud here, and this is going to be so saturated. Any prints, any kind of evidence will be easy to find. And we've actually caught prints right up here. There's actually a trail. You can hardly see it. It goes right through here. That's the discovery loop I told you the other side of. And uh, we've actually gotten prints here. And I think the gentleman who's coming today is going to be talking about prints up in this area here. I'm not, and it was a week ago, so before the rains really came. But anyway, it's getting buggy down here. I'll leave you with this beautiful scenery here. Now this river goes all the way across. I'm curious how deep it is on the other side, because I know that trail's low on the other side too, and that's Summit Loop. Look, it's pushing the plants over. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, like I said, we should have an interview coming up this afternoon. Someone coming in to show us photos of prints, tell the story of where they found it. It's the same park, one of the reasons I wanted to come down here today. And I feel bad that I haven't been down here in a couple of weeks. Uh, John Tucky, Tucker's down here, so uh, we'll see what he gets. He'll be uh, checking back in later. And God knows who else is around today. I think a lot of people are going to be checking this out. Uh, 
Thanks a lot again. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon.